I'm Brendan. I'm playing Sterling Reynolds, the human commander. My name is Amber Rose, and I'm playing Beatrice Alley Matilda Francesca Solomon Smith. Uh, she is a wood elf occultist. Hello, my name is Jeffrey Hodge. I play Robinel Rockapace, a wood elf bard. I'm Daniel, and I run the wood elf monk named San Gomez Maxilian, the friendly neighborhood medicine man gypsy. Hi, I'm Vivian, and I play Maybrianne Shergo, the go get em rogue. I'm Cory, I play Eduardo Del Monte, the wood elf ranger. I am Trevor, I am the GM for this 13th age campaign. I mean, it's just a whole bunch of preamble that has nothing to do with this game, so... Essentially, yeah, yeah, essentially he has to go like, okay, start here. Mm. He's brought all his dice out. I think we're in trouble. That's... Uh, you're exaggerating. What if it's character rolling? Number of reasons. Only one of them is a big fuck you to all of us. Uh, anyway, so, when last we met, we committed uh, privateering without a license. This is true. There's another that name means for that. <laughs> <laughs> By all means, I'm, I'm nominating you to do Last We Met this time. I think I'm just going to start doing this every week. <laughs> I mean, it works pretty well. It's also useful for me because it tells me what you were paying attention to. Okay. <laughs> all right, uh, let's and see. And therefore cared about. We decided to leave for Cog World to get some upgrades for our ship so we can go underwater. And uh, and because of I did a concert there once, I know that uh, if we want to sell anything there, we need a, a permit from uh, the Fire Nation. <laughs> sure. Okay. And Note to self, names, not Jeffrey's strong suits. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the, the name of this place doesn't particularly pertain to him that much. True. <laughs> it's more so me and a little bit of Betty, because she tends to know the names of all things anyways. <laughs> Which is really unfortunate, Look, since I don't. Is Robbie really going to remember every the name of every person? <laughs> is, is Robbie the guy who has the town name like, on the back of his loot? Rody wrote it out there before we show. But Hello! Cogworth! <laughs> the reason why you should know the name of the Fire Nation, quote unquote, is because it's the biggest empire I in the area. I think it's because shut up about it. Certainly the biggest in this area. Yeah, well... Your whole family gets ravaged by someone, you're gonna talk about it. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways, like Sasuke. we decide to uh, go to a uh, pirate <laughs> town in order to uh, I I find a uh, I less than legal way of, fi of uh, getting a... Uh, Permit for selling st for selling stuff, and we and uh, our captain has the brilliant of idea to uh, I, I'm going to say commit uh, piracy without a permit or a country. <laughs> oh, yes. uh, privateering. Sorry. Privateering without a permit. Piracy you can do it any time you want. <laughs> yeah. It's just always illegal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I got the two I mean, terms mixed up. It could. To be fair, they're basically the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Privateering without a permit or a country, a.k.a. piracy. Where? Uh, let's see. Well, we were looking for a ship to plunder. The bartender mentions uh, this one ship, who I forget whose name eludes me. Oh, the Spinning Jenny. <laughs> Literally written on a card in front of me. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Who mentioned... Who, uh, after... Uh, Paying the bartender a bit of a bribe mentions that uh, its crew is mostly cowardly, apart from this uh, one. Uh, the captain, no, the captain. Most of the cowardly. crew are just typical sailors. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the most atypical sailor is a man named uh, Jack, who uh, he mentions. Yeah, he's right over there. Dreamweaver. Nothing happening now. So this is Robbie's own head. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So uh, Robbie L manages to uh, convince uh, Jack to uh, swap ships, mostly because uh, we had decided to name our ship the uh, Sweet Lash on our way into port. Yep. He's gonna notice when we change the names. Will he care? <laughs> uh, not at this point, but yeah. Yeah, anyways, we decide to, uh, just in case the ship goes down while we're fighting, we decide to uh, sneak aboard the ship and make a forgery of the uh, permit, which, uh... <laughs> and then fun happens. <laughs> if you'd like to know what occurred during the best plan ever, <laughs> feel free to listen to the last episode. <laughs> yeah. It was a pretty good plan, man. 
Yeah. It actually works. I, I'm not, it's not sarcastic. It's it my actually favorite worked. plan you've it, ever done. It <laughs> also was one of our only plans that actually worked. Yeah. So. It, it basically essentially it, went off without a it hitch. It beat out stealing the desk. <laughs> my favorite plan of this campaign. <laughs> no, stealing the desk is still number one. <laughs> Alright, continue. Yeah, at which point we uh, copied the forgery, got out of the there, and uh, set a trap for the ship where uh, Jack sabotaged the uh, sails, and we just happened to be nearby and offered it to help. And we just happened to be nearby and happened to be at a pirate. <laughs> yeah. And so we just helped them and then helped ourselves to yeah, exactly. their stuff. Speaking of which, time to lose. Their lives and their shit. Yeah. <laughs> However, there was a complication during said help where a uh, water dragon appeared. Said relieving of their property. <laughs> said proactive redistribution of wealth mm. to us. <laughs> yep. You got attacked by a sea wyvern. Uh, at exactly. the end of that session, you did find that there was a magic item in the wyvern's stomach. <laughs> Evidence of some Which asshole. I am going to read aloud again because. Corey reading it while standing up away from the microphone in a loudly talking room is completely inaudible in the last recording. Nice. <laughs> and you wondered why I offered to read yeah. it. <laughs> ring of Jaunting. This is a bone ring. It's smooth, polished, and seamless, apparently having been carved from a single piece of bone from a large animal. The front of it has been exquisitely carved with the shape of a sea wyvern's roaring face. Teleport. Daily. Sort of. You can activate this ring as a quick action to teleport to any nearby location that you can see, and then roll a d20. If you roll 6 or better, you don't expend the use of this power. If you roll a natural 20, you don't expend the use of this power, and you can choose to deal damage to one creature adjacent to you after the teleport, equal to 1d6 times your level. If you roll a natural 1, I will let you know what happens. Curse! You disappear. Roll a new character. The GM might let you know where your old one went, but everyone else will have no idea. So be really careful with the number of magic items you're holding. Yeah. Should you have that one. <laughs> so, uh... You might not be dead. <laughs> I think this is a really good one for Eduardo. If he, uh, gets... Okay. If she gets attacked in close combat, she can just teleport mm. away. But then the the but the, the twenty the, the crit is not terrible at melee. Yeah, she's got the no, but the, the issue right. with, the, with right. that is also the crit power of that is you need to get adjacent with people right. to like yeah yeah. So like it's either gonna be me or the the fighter. Yeah, absolutely yeah. fighter. Yes. So essentially, fighter when he decides to show up, we will donate the item to him at that point. Someone is free to hold on to this meantime. Yeah. Play with it. Thank you. I mean, unless you want it. How many magic items do you have, actually? I'm getting close. Yes. I'm getting close. So you're fifth level. You should be still be okay. I'm at four, including <laughs> this. So it's okay. I'm getting close. Unless you would like the Ring of Dawn. I think I'm at four right now as well, but it's because I'm, I'm uh, holding Vivian's staff. All right, I guess. You can, you can get up close to do the... Uh, oh, yeah, crescendo. Crescendo. So yeah. if you would like... I mean... Teleporting cavalry charge. Would you like to have the ring? I mean, uh, teleport in there. Hope you get the crit to deal d6 equal to your level. Then crescendo to deal more damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not a bad plan. If you roll lucky, that's like the gambler's charge. <laughs> yeah. Well, Robinelle is How a gambler. Lucky. <laughs> and you do have the d6s to do it. Yeah. Alrighty. So. Maybe, maybe it is about time I start, stop running in head first and, and going, oh, really? you attack that guy. That, that's the way it should happen. So at the end of the last Although, session, to be fair, we don't have any melee fighters right now. I, well, we don't need melee sort fighters. Sort of. I thought you were mostly ranged with your blasty blasties. Any of these guys can do it. But I mean, like, yeah, he's running. No, 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 but my, but my, right my power is no longer based oh, okay. off. I it's just a burst always around a, I just always assume that it's ranged. My, my power is no, also no longer he has a, melee. He has a ranged attack. It's at will. I upgraded my power. I have a lot of ranged attacks, and they are my better attacks, except for Crescendo, which is a pretty awesome attack. It has been very useful so far. Yeah. Oh, that's right, because you, you do it, and then they... Yeah, yeah then they okay. get pushed away. Yeah. Sorry. All right, so I It's have actually a wizard today. power. Yeah. Anyway, the last thing you guys did was kill a sea wyvern, yep. and the last of the crew on deck of the spinning jenny. The only one who's still alive on deck is the captain, who is currently cowering behind a ship's wheel. We might need to assign Curled things. into a fetal position, covering his head. Do ye fear death? Yes, I fear it greatly. Please don't kill me. <laughs> hey, hey, captain, did you see what I did to the other guy? 
Uh, which guy? The guy sliced in like three pieces and then he fell apart. Oh god. You're pretty sure he didn't see. He was probably hiding at the time. Like, hey, but the description is not. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. He, pick he wets him himself. I'm gonna pick him up by the scruff of his shirt. Yeah. Like at the back. He's he's getting the Why new ship down. And it's go. Hey, like no. I'm just, I just want to show you because it's really cool. Look at that body. <laughs> right over there. He throws up. <laughs> Roll me a dexterity check. <laughs> <laughs> he, does not, he does not puke on you. <laughs> yes. I, I immediately shove him like like facing overboard. I'm like, all right, there we go. Uh, Captain, not to uh, disturb you from your fun there. I mean, look. I believe we may have more crew members below decks. Ah, all right. Seriously, look at that. That's cool, right? <laughs> Are we sure the captain doesn't have magic item insanity? <laughs> Incidentally, uh, to be fair, <laughs> that is one of the things. Incidentally, uh, several members of your crew are currently making religious signs of warning over their hearts and are muttering darkly amongst each other. Uh, don't worry, this is. You may want to address that. <laughs> don't worry, this is technology, not magic. <laughs> They're keeping a wide berth away from you. <laughs> well, I mean, it's I could just start acting out head of the Dread Captain. <laughs> and also Snapfield. You know, like to do now. Just go down for the stairs of the second oh. ship. My hand hurts. Oh. Y'all going? Going below decks? No, I'm staying above deck. It to monitor. I will organize the crew into a thorough search of the other ship to find any remaining crew members. Uh, one of the your crew comes forward and says, uh, "On behalf of our crew, what the fuck?" <laughs> I'm also going to be tossing... Pointing at, like, both of you. I'm tossing <laughs> bodies. I'm going to be tossing the dead chunks of the board. Yeah, what the fuck? Are you talking about the weapon? Yeah, yeah, the laser oh. rifle and the sword. Which uh, I wish to point out, I was listening to your conversation in the background of the recording, which I hadn't heard during the session. No, your crew don't know you have those things. Oh, <laughs> If they did, then it, this conversation would have occurred earlier. Huh? Was, well, we were on uh, the... Uh, that thing. That's, that's why. I point to the wyvern. When we were on the uh, previous no, island, these were purchased... that thing! He points at the rifle you're all When we were on the previous island, these were purchased from a... Is, you might not like this, but this is what's going to happen. I was planning for this. This is what I... This is what hey, I'm wait, 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 wait. Before... I'm going to toss the rifle. No, no, stop, 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 no, no, no. No, so, I, I, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. That's mental speak, okay? It's just real quick. We have this for a reason. Okay, Trevor was kind enough to give us give this to us so that we could actually discuss these kinds of things before we do them. Okay, so right. now, our crew's not unreasonable. We did just come from an island. I mainly island gave you that power because I knew you'd do it anyway. I mean, but like this way, I wouldn't have to bitch you when you do this. If we we're gonna have it, we may as well use it. We did just come from an island full of merchants and people who have been all over the world. It shouldn't be that big of a stretch to say we purchased this from somebody who has been somewhere where there was advanced technology. Yes. Where are you saying you got it from? A merchant on the previous island. Which island? Port Ehrlich or Watchtower? The Watchtower. Watchtower? The one where all yes. the adventurers went insane and murdered each other? Yes, but, but this does our crew that. know that? <laughs> yeah. They were docked in harbor and watching them. No, they were. It was rather spectacular. No, they were, they were off. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, they know, they know what happened. They can still see the island. Now. But yes, but before people went crazy, they were sane. <laughs> so they don't know why they went insane. Uh, apart from the fact that they saw a bunch of but blast we just shots, say, we just say quite these, similar to what his gun shoots. <laughs> we say, yes, but so, so they were using magic items, we're using technology. <laughs> <laughs> what is the difference, evil witch? <laughs> can I throw them well, to the rifle over they're not magic, their trust? You should be able to throw them away. That's exactly what I was doing right now. Bye bye. Okay. Just put it down. Prove you can put it down. If you just put it down, he goes, nah, no, not good enough. I've seen some of them things before. You throw Look. them and they just appear back in your Look. hand. She'll take it away from me. I just hand the lightsaber over to her. Don't touch that. He's crazy. Don't touch. Look what he did. Yeah, points at these body hot. parts strewn across the other deck. It's Incidentally, hot. they're not letting you back on your ship. Like, if you try to walk back across the board, they, like, jam pipes at you. <laughs> I mean, they saw what I can do. Yeah, there's also, like, 50 of them. I'm gonna walk I, over to you. I, I swear he was like this long before he got the sword. There you go. <laughs> We've been sailing under him for a year. No. Right, so, there you go, Betty. Hold on to this. You're on the other side of a group of pikes 
are men from me. Oh, I yeah. can't actually grab don't it from you. Don't listen to it. Well, he's let crazy. Walk over. He's trying to corrupt No, he's, he's over here. <laughs> Robin, no. Hold on to this. God, that he's got it. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a cheap. It's just a cheap flashlight. <laughs> you realize that is a blatant lie, right? They watched it cut someone into bits with it. I didn't cut him into bits. I sliced through him a few times. If this makes you feel more comfortable. And then he fell. <laughs> if it makes you feel more comfortable, we are going to have to. No, before we do this. Okay, so look, he's fine. We have to put the crew on the two different ships right now. Look, he's fine. You're using him as a model of sanity? Well, no, I'm saying he's, he's, he started holding my lightsaber, and he's fine. Well, the crew let me walk over to Robinel. Uh, depends what ship you're on. I believe you I were... I think you were on... I'm currently Duchess. on the... Yeah, you're yeah. on the Duchess. Uh, no. <laughs> they, they're just telling you not to go over there. Gosh. It's <clears throat> terrible. It's horrible. Well, they, they, they pat they... you on the back and congratulate you for having gotten rid of the cursed doom item. Yeah. Uh, you can give me a wisdom I... check to I... notice something about their behavior. Where are our happy snake friends? Uh, on your ship. You get the 28. 28? Uh, what you notice is a number of the crew, after you threw the rifle over, uh, they're looking a bit uncertain. Like, you know, every legend you've ever heard about magic items is that once you pick one up, they just bind you and you can't get rid of them. Mm -hmm. So, you might have more sway with convincing them that they're not magic, with hilarious lies, <laughs> considering you just threw one of them away. Oh. Well, might be possible to convince them. <laughs> so, for the coup, do I exactly strike you as the kind of person who would let somebody onto the ship carrying something magical? <laughs> Some of the crew huddle up. We are of the opinion that no. That's we are what I also thought. of the opinion that you would not allow toys, booze, cards, <laughs> friends. <laughs> Joy of any kind. I mean, really. <laughs> onto the ship. I mean, so do you I'm the one who let lets booze on the ship. Just saying. That's not helping you right now. Just saying. Do you honestly think I would let our captain use a magic item? Hey, Robin, let's go check out the basement of the ship. Yeah, check. You get plus five. Wait, it's from him throwing the rifle over. I would, I would love to just like, hey, catch! And just throw the lightsaber over. <laughs> and just. <laughs> oh! You realize what would actually happen. They'd all move away and then the burning lightsaber would hit the back of the ship. No, I mean, it would spin it up. I got 23. 23? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Uh, most of them seem to be leveling off a bit. A few of them seem to be stubborn holdouts. Uh, you do only lose one morale. It would only be deactivated. I mean, I would deactivate, but there is some dissension. In the rags. Incidentally, you lost some ableness morale and ship condition just from fighting. Yeah. I'm going to go talk to the Slither Tongues. Okay. Um, when I reach them, presumably without the other Freemars trait, yep. I will ask them politely to kindly help the crew calm their shit. <laughs> In those exact words. Probably. Right. That would have given you a bonus on that roll, but. You that was can't too late. have actually done better than what you rolled. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah. Hey, Robin, I'll give you my lightsaber back. Yeah. I'm just trying to. Uh, Don't trust him. Stop him. Um, he wants it back. There's like one or two of them are like, no, you can't. See? He lusts after it. <laughs> you guys, you can come help me go count the bat food. <laughs> oh. I hate counting bat food. <laughs> Uh, it's really just like rotting fish. If you head down to the hold of your ship, you can see uh, one of the portholes mm -hmm. is shattered. Yeah. And there's a big gouge torn out of the wall, hold yeah. of your ship. Yep. And there is blood on the floor around it. You'll notice, uh, notice uh, one or two of your crew are missing. Yep. Okay, as long as the bat's where it belongs. Steve and Bill. <laughs> as long as the bat's where it belongs. Bat, bat is terrified. Okay. I feel like a uh, oh, oh, she brought back down. Uh, one of the crew shaking. members she brought down. Um, Clean that up and uh, you, would you board the window, please? Can we chop up the wiper for bat food? It's poisonous! Do you want our bat? Well, it depends on Someone can give me an intelligence check. Probably the ranger. Actually, you're a ranger. Yeah, weapons are poisonous. Uh -huh. We are not feeding it to Bartholomew. <laughs> so, it's both poisonous and venomous? Yes. <clears throat> I should get the uh, rest of the crew to help You could stab them bunch the air to try and get venomous arrows. Oh. You could try and make some sort of check to harvest poison from it. Yeah, but if I fail, I get poisoned. No, 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 no. you don't, you don't <laughs> harvest it. Speaking you of. take a bunch of arrows and oh, stab them into the wyvern a bunch of times. You know? That's thing that actually says him. And hopefully you'll get enough wyvern guts all over them to get poisoned. It's your plan, it is foolproof. I mean, he will get poisoned through this method. No, just everything that his arrows possibly touch. 
Yeah. Well, including himself, depending on where he's carrying them. <laughs> he has a quiver, I'm assuming. Yes, he has a quiver. Like, he's not hes not the kind of guy who just jabs him in his leg as, like, a placeholder. <laughs> like, ah! All right, pull it out. Oh, God. All right, shoot. <gasps> Give me one of the green things, then I'll do it. Actually, no. Oh, wait, no, I, um, I'd have a hard time doing it, but I'm already immune to poison. Oh, you already jabbed the one? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, no, I didn't. No, you didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't have you to kill the thing and then the fight yeah. ended. I'm yeah. sorry, before he tries to grab any green ones, are you suggesting reckless use of resources? I mean... I will need written permission from the captain. <laughs> I mean, I'm okay with him using it. Also, you're downstairs. You can thought speak to him, but glaring is probably not going to work. Hey, you know, it's okay for him to yeah, use... Yeah, well, the captain says yes, hey, she's going to give it to him. It's okay for him to use it. I don't mind. Let's be honest. Yeah. If Brendan allows someone else to use one of the poison immunity charms, he really has more authoritative say of how those should be distributed than anyone... Not because he's the captain, <laughs> obviously. Because he, gets because he is a magnet for all venoms but of no, the world. But no, but also because he's the captain. <laughs> it's only That's happened the thing. three or four times. <laughs> but okay. One of, the, one of the reasons. It's not a trend. One of the reasons I play Betty as being as bossy as shit is not just because I am bossy as shit, but because. She will automatically defer to the captain. Does she have a chart of like how? I'm assuming you have a chart of like point, like a binary chart of like poison or not poisoned, and it's like by battle, and it's just like, and then like, and then it's just like markers, and it's just like my my category is like, I'm like, ah, it's not a trend. You're crazy. Shows you a. You can use it after making the check and failing. You will just take some damage. Yeah, but if they use it preemptively, because I don't have to worry about it. Um. I would give you a bonus to the check simply because you can be more reckless in what you're doing. You don't have to be as careful. Captain's already signed it up. Do it. All right. In my mind, it's gone. I'll do this like, uh... Speaking like, of, uh, you should well, take the other one. Like, uh, we'll, you know, take it somewhere. Take that right next to the phone. More <laughs> secure than on top of the deck where everyone can wander around and get poisoned. Like what? Six. So yes. somewhere a bit more secure than that. Blue and two. I want Splody Boom One. Also, I have two white and one. Splody Boom One. So, preemptively, you are now immune to poison. Yep, for 24 hours. And it's possible if you're able to harvest so you will have. Can, can people tell the difference between Wyvern Eyes and Dragon Eyes? Uh, anyone, why are you asking? So if you're asking about like, selling them, anyone who's buying them, probably. Damn. Most people don't know. But most people aren't interested in buying them. Now I'm going to make a necklace out of one. And it's be like, hey, look at me. You, you realize it's just going to rot. You could use a tooth, though. You got big old snake teeth. Uh, does 20 yeah, total work? How much? 20 total work? 20? Yep. With your bonus. Hey, can you also, also harvest teeth out of it so I can make a necklace? Like, yeah. That's not going to work your case, mate. Actually, can you can you harvest the claws for me, Brian? <laughs> she yeah. seems to have a thing about yeah. chicken claws. Yeah, we'll, we'll harvest the claws for me, Brian. It's like you got wyvern claws. Should I just butcher the whole thing? Yeah. I'm at it? No, we should do. It's very important. You use every piece of the animal. No, no. So what we should do is we should harvest the like the the claws of the, the feet because it has no hands. And so you chop off the feet, right? And then you empty out the insides so that they have they have gauntlets. They have gauntlets that are drag like the wyvern claw gauntlets. And we'll give them to uh, um, um, uh, Singamas. 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 Dragon Claw. Gaunt. Oh, wait, no. He, well, he has metallic ones. He already has a metallic Dragon Claw gauntlet. Yeah. But then he can switch to bio could, ones when he wants to. Yeah, you could have Dragon Claw on one hand and Wyvern Claw on the other. <laughs> yeah. So he can be the Draco Wyvern. When I first started that description, I thought you were about to say, like, turn it into, like, an umbrella stand. So I was picturing, like, this elephant. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, no, with the other tail. <laughs> See, what you do is you, you chop off a, ch a chunk, right? And you just put, like, a wooden cork on the bottom. And you just, you know, stand it up. Perfect. I'm probably seeing as quite the badass. <laughs> on this to the I mean, if you're just, if you walk up to the wyvern, you're like, okay, I got this. And you just start, like, butchering it. It's just like, wow. All right. I'm assuming you do also the needle away from, like, prying oh, eyes. Yeah. yeah, okay. Considering his stealth check with that plant seed that we totally don't know about, <laughs> I'm saying, yeah, he could probably do that. I'm still waiting for so the So, should he get a glory point yeah. for carving up a wyvern? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's actually. Yeah. 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 Totally. That is absolutely a good point. <laughs> Robin Hill is just playing with the lightsaber. Give that back. <laughs> no. Get your own. <laughs> Robin Hill, you have work to do. By the way, did we ever actually get the rest of the crew off that other ship? No. No. There's still blood decks. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, whoever wants to uh, follow me, I got a nice flashlight here. 
not a, it's not a particularly effective flashlight. You have one dose of wyvern venom. Uh, you can apply this to a melee weapon or to some number of arrows or crossbow bolts. For the rest of the battle, whenever you hit with the poisoned item, the target takes ongoing damage equal to five plus the value of the escalation die. Wyvern venom. Uh, basically, it lasts for a minute or so once it's on the weapon. After that, it sort of dries up, flakes off, or falls off, and ceases to really do anything. But yeah, for a battle, you can be highly venomous. Thoughts speak to Captain. You may want to organize that search of the other ship. Oh, it's like, oh yeah, guys, there's crew down there. We got their captain. Let's go get him. <laughs> I just hold him by the scruff of his shirt. It's like, let's go. All right, who's going down to the hole? I'm busy. Can I have my sword to defend myself? You are certainly busy. You are sorting out the hole, which has been with damaged by dealing with and also keeping the dissenters quiet. Yes. Actually, no. You know what I'm doing? You do. I don't need the sword. I'm just gonna pop the shield and just like have him as a secondary. <laughs> no, I need the shield. That thing they've seen before. Yeah, I need the that shield. That thing doesn't emit a column of fire <laughs> yeah. out of it and cut people in half. It's just a weird. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Thing. Not half. Quarters. <laughs> All right. My zero apologies. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna essentially have a human shield and then a normal shield and just like walk down to the like the I'll just double sparta it. Yeah. <laughs> just like no, I'm gonna I'm gonna be Shirk Smoopy of Austin. I'm dual wielding shields. It's double the blocking yeah, sure power. How well the fabric shield works. <laughs> It seems to deflect stuff really well, but it's still like, wow. It's dual wield shields. Yeah. Like, it doubles the armor rating. It's okay. awesome. So, what are you doing, Robin? I'm going with the captain. Alright, so, you two. Head below decks as you are searching around below decks. Do you take any of your crew with you, I'm guessing? Yeah, we'll take a few okay. guys. But, but, but before we head down, go. Like, anything we need to know about down here? Like, about down here? Yeah, yeah. traps? Traps? No, no. Why, why, why would we put traps in the merchant ship? That, that, that would be dangerous. I don't know. Protect your gear. <laughs> That's what crew were for. That's why I hired him. Points at Lightning Jack. Hi, Lightning Jack. Hi, Lightning Jack. He seems so nice. He is very nice. <laughs> oh, why did I ever agree to do this job? Oh, I should have just turned back at Watchtower. What? He's looking for details on his job. Oh, yeah. So you guys are poking around below decks? Well, I'll well, I'll save, I'll save you. Uh, I'll save you uh, to each of you when you're there. Make me a wisdom check to spot something. Okay. It's oh, not a yeah. Uh, this is like an investigating kind of thing. 20? Yeah, just forget about me. <laughs> what you notice is there is no one below decks. At all. Where's the rest of your crew? I, I, I don't know. They, they should be down here. Portals? Where did they go? Yeah. Are, uh, there any, are there any holes in like, the holes? Uh, holes in the hull? No, there are portholes, like windows. Yeah. They're all open. Okay. So why would they go? Mm. You can find beds and like, possessions so like any evidence? belonging to probably about Jack, get 40 down more here. people. But you don't see any people. Oh, yeah. Any evidence that they possibly just jumped ship? Um, jumped out of the portal. That was your terrible status. wisdom rolls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you look out into the water, you can see it's still a highly misty day. You can't see very far. You don't hear anything, though. Mm, I was going to say, as it, well, it's not for notice people. Um, I, we, would, I wouldn't really notice. Is weekend. there anybody left on deck? On upper deck? Yeah. No. Any of us? No. Okay. Hey, Jack. Why is there oh, no well, crew here? He's yeah. on the deck of your ship. Can you look to ship. see if there's uh, any, if any rowboats or you know, dinghies are still attached to their ship? Sure, they're still there. Does it look like anyone's been pulled through the portholes? Not with your abysmal checks. Jack, I'm going to point out. I'm going yeah. to call down Jack and Eduardo and go, hey, come investigate this. <laughs> All right, sure. Jack walks down. Yeah. Kicks one of the uh, ribs of the ship. Sure is a boat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You said CSI is not his uh, strong suit. <laughs> Got it. Doing some investigation. Yes, please. CSI Lightning Jack. All right. So yep. they checked. Sure more is than, empty. <laughs> they've checked more than just the hold, yeah. right? Yeah. They've checked all. They've checked everywhere below that because I can't find anyone. Does disappear. Uh, the mist. Does nineteen work? Nineteen? Nope. Right, Let's see. You get on 30, the die. If you're curious. Wow. It's quite hard to notice. Uh, you might want to... No, no, wait, 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 DC is 30. So you might want to need to... Are you, are you rolling D20? Okay, that's no, right. I saw the other D20. Sorry, sorry. <clears throat> well, I'm going to see what I need to roll to get a 30. Let's see. Probably stupidly high. Your uh, tracker background supply. What's in the hold, by the way? 
terms of card. Metal. I'd have to roll a nat uh, twenty in order to get that. Okay. Steel, metal, glass, wiring. Okay. Yeah, we're heading to the cup. There's also a lot more food in here than you would think is probably necessary. Talk to the captain about what his job was. Yeah. Oh God, what was your job? <laughs> what was? Where is she? Okay, Please don't kill me. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. <laughs> wow. Uh, you got a twenty or something? Did you? Yes, I did. I will say you get something, which is uh, near one of the bunks. You can see a fighting axe, which is lying on the floor next to the bunk, huh. like it was taken out yeah. and then dropped. I look up. Okay. You see the deck above you. Damn. You can roll another wisdom check. <laughs> Why not? Or actually looking in the right direction. <laughs> this one will actually have an easier DC. Oh. This is a two on the die. Yeah. Spend a point. DC only 20 on this one. I am not the wisdom guy. <laughs> Hey guys, maybe we should look up. Can that be an assist? But still on a 30, so it would be like plus two? Well, I'm going to say you look up and don't see anything. <laughs> so, well, it doesn't really anything, occur to you to suggest so. other people look at the roof. <laughs> anyway. Ship. If you guys, oh, only like if you guys declare tall. that you are spending like an hour scouring the whole area, I'll just give it to you. Well, we have to move our cargo onto the ship if we want to sell our cargo over their cargo. So. You can also just bring your ship. Yeah. We can just sail the just... ship and search at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. We could also just sail both ships into like the thing and then be like, oh yeah, we needed another cargo ship to hold the extra stuff. <laughs> to hold all of our awesome sweat. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want it? Like, this is the spinning Jenny. It's totally our primary ship. I'm totally Captain Kohler. Yeah. Like it says on this deed. <laughs> Look, no, his hat. This is our spare ship, the Sweet Lash. I thought we were gonna. <laughs> no, I thought we were gonna say that uh, he lost his ship in a gambling. Could do we that. have yeah. the deed right there. We could, you know. All right. So, are you uh, scouring the place? It's an only an hour. You're the we captain. Can sail at but, the same but the other thing is, if something big and scary is here eating their crew and possibly magical, and we stick around for an hour. <laughs> yeah. Like that uh, no, scary yeah, no. okay. smog. With the no, like, no, see, okay, now that I, I see the act, and like, it doesn't come across on close. radio, but I have a big old yeah. shitty big grin on my face. <laughs> um, Beatrice will thought speak to the captain. Mm. By the way, if there's one way, then there might be others or something no, similar. No. So if you would close me, no, the portholes. No, 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 me seeing the act, I'm go, oh, somebody was ready and then just got snagged out of what? Okay. Got Let's get out. No. With, with, okay, no, I got it. With my history of combat, I go, that's a bad sign. Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, close the portholes. Let's do it. You set your crew to doing that? Uh, no, I will help. <laughs> yeah, stick it together, are you? Yes. For safety? Yes. Okay, um, <laughs> no, no, no. What happens is, I go, we should stick together. And then a cloud of like mist blows in my face. I go, we should split up. <laughs> All right, Team A will head back to my quarters for a stiff drink. Can team A consists of B. The rest of you break shut these. <laughs> and it's fastest if you split up and do it multiple sections at a time. Don't forget to catch your Also, make shadows. sure you're out of earshot at all times. <laughs> and, like, everyone should just sh shut up while you do it. I don't want to hear talking. <laughs> and I'm not going to check in later. I'm just going to assume you did it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to tow the ship, not Ace. have it sail. <laughs> all right, so your crew shuts a bunch of the portals. Yes. Uh, at one point while shutting them, you do find uh, there's like a gouge cut into the edge of one. Probably where something sharp hit the inside of the porthole. Mm -hmm. Do I see any blades around? Nope. Okay. Eduardo, if you'd like to keep investigating around here, we're going to get sailing. But if you'd like to keep investigating alone. <laughs> not necessarily alone. There's other crew here. Just not the main state crew. <laughs> Whoever was dissenting to be having a lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> you get a portal of shadow duty. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, so, we'll, or I'm well, gonna... The dead wyvern's not gonna I, go I, 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 I get back up to the Correct. deck. I get back up to the deck and go, alright, uh, for all you dissenters, right, like, for everyone who's against me and just doesn't like me right now... Yeah, we no, don't no, want to put no, no, all the people no, no. who don't like you on one ship. <laughs> Should we just keep... Do you have any idea how like you No, I wanna, I'm gonna put them on with some of you guys, so you can, like, they'll be happier with you, specifically Eduardo. Do you not want... Like I think my name's yeah. a bit different right at the moment. Ed, Edwina. No, it's not Ara. just Edwina. 
It is totally Edwina. Clara. Clara. Sorry. It's We've Clara already renamed that. Edwina is too easy to remember because I've already remember, memorized that Eduardo, okay? okay? Sorry, just sorry, throwing this out here though. At some point, Betty needs to have a look at the books and probably also the holes. I really don't want to put her there, but that's where she needs to go. Clara, <laughs> you're not going to be captain of the ship. I'm sorry, of the new ship. I'm sorry. All in favor of me being captain of the new but ship. But you will be first mate. That's the crew, I'm assuming. <laughs> no, this is the GM. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. But uh, we're, I'm going to go ahead and put... Look, let's... For, Robin L for now, I'm going to have to sell all separate. All opposed to chorus of days. <laughs> look, look. I'm the boatswain, so I'm not. So I shouldn't switch ships. Okay, right, the boatswain right. stays with his ship. I, I need to have a look at the books and stuff on the other ship. Where several members of the crew go, but you're the boatswain. <laughs> <laughs> I wondered why you keep insulting whatever I was doing. Yes. <laughs> I thought no, you, you were just begging. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, sir. <laughs> That was weirdly synchronized too. <laughs> yeah, that was perfect. That right. was quite lovely. Uh, you with me. Betty, you can be the captain. To be fair, I'd probably be the most uninvolved captain ever. That's fine. You can delegate as much I'll, as you want. I'll keep I'll, and Eduardo, any, any, or only Clara. Only plus one. Yeah, you can keep Clara. So no one thinks so anything happens. Uh, you can also take Mabrian if you wish. So we just yeah, I'll take separate Mabrian and guys Clara. And gals. <laughs> you could, could put Sangamas and Mabrian in charge of that code. I'm sure nothing bad will happen to uh, That would be I mean, If it did, it's just like, hey, you're back. Yeah, you're dead. It was like when you guys... <laughs> like, it was like when that, you guys... That is the best, when you leave, miss a week, and then you guys you come tried back to kill me. That your character's dead. I was gone for one week, and you guys almost killed my character. What? <laughs> what? what, what, what was I do? This was when we were, you were on the cliff sides, and when you blew up the cliff I was standing on. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, they merely severely injured your character. That was a different Asshole. character. I have a general policy of not killing player characters while the player's not here. But, actually, yeah, but if I took uh, Clara and Mabrian over, that lets me look over the book and the, the hold, and then Clara can actually so manage to... No, it'd be Sangamas. ...in the no. captain's office. Oh, no, we need Sangamas. over them by candlelight in a largely dimly lit room. I do have my handy <laughs> extra hand who can hold them. We have, we actually have some, no, so, yeah, no, said no. you going over books would take very long if you can them. Yes. Alright, <laughs> so yeah, we're keeping Sangamas, Robinel, and myself on this ship, because we need Sangamas to repair the ship. Sangamas repairs crew. <coughs> and the and ship. also And ship. work on fixing the ship. That's true, he's probably a carpenter. Yeah, I yeah. think he's a surgeon and carpenter. Well, he, he's no, he has he's the, also uh, the cook. He has the, he has the cart repair thing. Yes, yeah. So, he knows how so to girls and guys? All right. Girls and guys? Yeah. All right, so you watch the actual All right, above deck sure stuff. It's skip. Wait, no. <laughs> Other way around. <laughs> of the ship while we were going on. Like, that's going to be, like, my sole thing while... We okay, maybe Brianne can uh, watch the deck. <laughs> sure. You can make me a wisdom check. <laughs> oh -ho! Nineteen on the dice. Vivian's back today. Nineteen on the dice. I think you're on the other ship, aren't you? Nineteen on the dice, sir. <laughs> she said she was sir. from the sir. Jetty sir. Jetty. Sir. Okay. Sir. You I was should... nineteen on the dice. We need one of us above right, deck. You know Fine, sir. Uh, something in the mist off to the side of the ship was moving, moving away. <laughs> Go ship. Go <laughs> ship. Let's get out of here. <laughs> We're sailing side by side. Career sailor. She knows a ghost ship when she sees one. <laughs> Sails away. <laughs> Thank you, right. Vivian, for saving us. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Uh, sailing. <coughs> sailing checks. You gonna add it up? Yep. This is just a sailing check to see how quickly you get to a uh, cog roll. Okay. And I was thinking totally about okay, anything is. else. Wait. Wait, really? Just doing it. I don't care. We need it. It helped. We got three twos. Triple twos. Nice. Three means you actually get there in a week. Yay. And that thing doesn't happen. <laughs> One thing. Oh, uh, nothing. Don't even worry about it. Uh, while we have been sailing, Beatrice was thoroughly going over the records, probably devouring some of the old ones, so she doesn't have to spend time looking at them. Absolutely. And, uh, but not the not new appears. ones, because she used to have the new ones. Dude. And thoroughly going over the hold. They were sailing from a place called Harkin Port, which is a dwarven, <laughs> primarily dwarven occupied mm -hmm. island. Has a lot of extensive mines on it, and we're moving a shipload of metal and wiring and whatnot to Cogworld. 
Uh, apparently, they were stopping over at Watchtower Island for resupply at around the same time that everyone went psycho and everything went horribly, horribly wrong. So there might be something there. Okay. Apart from that, you don't find anything out of the ordinary in these records. What are you doing with that captain? I don't know. Maybe. Currently, he's huddled in a ball of crime. <clears throat> if we were to just put him on a, on a... I'm leaving him on your ship to deal with him because I know he's severely afraid of me. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I will why not talk just put him on calmly. a dinghy and just leave him in the middle of the water? Because last time we left somebody alive, that didn't work for us. <laughs> Specifically someone who worked for... Do you uh, want to kill I him? I will have a... During the week, what? I'll Killing? Uh, what? calmly... <laughs> Talk, see if you I don't can't, have your uh, lightsaber. I still have it. Please don't I command you as the captain. I need some information on the ship. Don't kill me, my devastating pirates. I can reprimand the shit out of you. Information on Mutiny their their rooms and stuff like that. Tell you whatever you want. So she will be calmly talking. Please be in a dinghy somewhere, or preferably near shore. I won't tell anyone. I also asked him some questions about Cogworld. While having somebody who's better at charisma checks than you know I am, we, could to do? we can get him really, checks. really, really drunk, and then he'll be in the dinghy, so that way when he wakes up, he'll have a terrible hangover and will possibly not remember anything. Or we could kill him. Because yeah, that's basically what you're doing. By leaving him on if, a... if you leave someone in a dinghy in the middle of the ocean, you're basically killing them. <laughs> yeah, like, for the most part. Especially when you've like, severely you're, drunked you're them the night before. You're killing them very inefficient. <laughs> It's the, like, the better method is give him a bottle of rum and then throw him on an island and you're like, I hope you live. <laughs> That's at least kinder. So he at can drink himself to death. surviving that one. Or he can just drink himself to death. Uh, what he suggested you doing was go somewhere inhabited, leave him in a dinghy somewhere offshore. Right. So that it would take him a long time to run ashore and you'd be away before you got there. I mean, that's just his suggestion, though. We don't have to murder him. His panic terrified suggestion. If you want to murder him, I can murder him. Like, you don't have to bloody your hands, Betty. Just, sorry, do My you have your hand yes. up like you have a question? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My current concern is watching the bureaucracy of Cog's world, because we have. One legitimate pass, one not legitimate pass. We have a ship that does not yet have our name on it legally. Another one which actually probably has forged papers to begin with. Um, I want to get as much information as possible on Cog's World so that when we get there, we're not going to run into trouble. Cause I thought like the reason we were getting this other ship was so that we could just use that ship. So we didn't have to, but now we've got two ship fulls of stuff we want to sell. Yes, exactly. So... <laughs> just, uh... You know, sell all the stuff in one ship, go off, and then when we're in sea, just put all of our stuff, you know, move over the, over our stuff back onto the. the wow, well, that was the fastest trip you ever made to that dwarven settlement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we caught a really good tailwind, and then another really good tailwind going the other way. <laughs> yeah, just, we met halfway. So. And then we went through a wormhole. <laughs> We were picked up by a dragon and dropped conveniently close by. Yeah, there are these friendly robot people who are trying to find the Knights of Cybertron. They are completely lost. They have no idea what they're doing. They're doomed. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, if you're questioning the captain, uh, you don't have to make also any kind of check to get him to tell you stuff. <laughs> but I'm more concerned about whether he's telling you the truth. Sure, that would be a wisdom check. I'll be around. And I'm going to have people nearby to also read him. <laughs> 19 on the die. Okay. I got a 9 on the die, so I'm going to assume... Well, I do know quite a lot about various bureaucracies, so that might help for some fact-checking on my part. Possibly, yeah. Okay. Anyway. In that case, I got 23... 24. Okay. Yep. So, they were uh, on Watchtower when everything went crazy. A bunch of deranged lunatics attacked their ship, probably those adventurers. A large number of their crew were actually killed during this incident before they managed to get their ship out into open water. They had been planning on turning back to... Dwarven place? Yeah. <laughs> Literally forgot the name already. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Verisimilitude. <laughs> anyway, uh, they had been planning to turn back there, get their ship repaired, and take on more crew for another attempt. However, they were hailed by another ship, the Sanguine Spirit, that had come off Watchtower Island as well. Uh, a halfling lady on board said she was bound for Cogworld as well, and that she personally knew someone there who would have need of their cargo of metal, and she was willing offer to offer double their shipment's payment if they pressed on with the shipping run now. Uh, they tried to explain they didn't have the manpower needed for the journey. Uh, she ordered some of her crew to join in with them, and told them to pick up the rest of whatever they needed along the way at Fort Erling. 
Uh, the captain was terrified by the idea of docking there, but uh, he says he agreed to do it anyway, and he's not sure, looking back on it, why he agreed to do that. Yep. <laughs> we all keep so, uh, really when I looked places. up, did I uh, happen to just not see a bunch of little bats up there? <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, when they got to the Freeport, uh, the people yeah. that had been lent to them uh, left for a while, then came back with some sailors from the port, and then they left again for good. So the guys from Liara's ship uh, left them in Port Argoic and brought a bunch of random sailors from the port <clears throat> over to work with them. Uh, Liara's people, who he can tell you were named Kelly and Match, said they had already paid the sailors for him. The captain was highly suspicious of this arrangement, of a bunch of mysterious sailors being hired for him in the town full of pirates. <laughs> so he decided he wanted backup of his own, so he hired Lightning Jack. And he's deeply, deeply hurt that his hire proved to be the untrustworthy one. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I mean, you haven't proven that they were untrustworthy either. It's true. So, did, they appear to have did disappeared. Uh, that Liara person stay with you after you left? Did no, she, she left on her ship. Okay. I don't think she stopped at uh, Ehrlich, though. She sailed on. Anyway, uh, if you ask him about Cogwell Island, I uh, can tell you a fair bit about it. Uh, some time ago... Uh, so, is my vampire girlfriend trying to help us or something? You're not sure. <laughs> is that your super I'm gonna go friend? with no. <laughs> but sorry, I would like to get this information on Cogworld. Uh, so Cogworld, before it became part of the Republic of Skull, uh, what actually caused this to happen was there was an accident at one of the island's experimental desalinization machines. Uh, it blanketed the entire island in a cloud of salt residue. Uh, this didn't present much of a hazard to the populace, but it salted the land for miles around, rendering the soil incapable of sustaining crops. With a meager growing season on the way and the threat of famine looming, the island's government reached out to the neighboring archipelago for help. And the help they got in exchange for agreeing to become part of the Republic. The Burning Archipelago has been supplying food to Cogworld Island in the years since the accident. Uh, many of the island's inhabitants are not particularly happy with this development, particularly the island's former farmers who have been forced to find other employment since the entire collapse of their industry, uh, most of them winding up becoming laborers for factories and machine works on the island. Uh, this has led to some tension between the island's inhabitants. The farmers are now stuck working for the mechanist, who they blame for the accident that caused the ruination of their family businesses, and in many cases forced them from their homes. Uh, meanwhile, mecha mechanists don't particularly enjoy being blamed as a collective for an accident committed by one workshop. Uh, yep. Right. Um, to, if we say yeah, that the whole set that the about burning the, uh, like dock, like port, like how their port system works, the bureaucracy of the passes, etc. Uh, yep. Uh, cargo holds get expected at the port, usually by representatives from the Burning Archipelago. Uh, then goods are brought, if it's food, they're brought to Town Hall, where they're distributed amongst the populace. If it's other goods, they're just, after that, once you've been inspected and ratified, you're just free to sell your stuff wherever. Uh, if you're looking for the person he was planning to sell metal to, he will tell you that that is someone named Tila TikToker, who is a gnome mechanist, who apparently, according to Liara at least, has or is going to have a need for a lot of metal soon. Yeah. Uh, other notable places in town include uh, the Chopping Block, which is a combination bar and butcher shop, nice. owned by a charming goblin named Fibblefip. I wonder if they will buy all this white jerky. Do they have? Do they have electric smokers? Possible. If anyone have does, Cog World probably does. butchered the entire wyvern. To get the stuff. But well, we, didn't, can't, we can't didn't keep the wyvern meat. meat, man. We would have ditched the meat. It's all, it's all poisonous. To us, there might be some indigenous species that might not be able to eat. We ditched the meat. Uh, we don't need any accidents. <laughs> Where would we store the meat? First of all, yeah, it's probably rotted like the day it after. It would be we... dried. No, but, but no, 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 no. I'm talking about accidents. no, but where would we store it? Because if we stored it with the other food, people might die. So yeah, right, we're, we're, we're we're getting rid of it. But I'm keeping the teeth. All right. I'm gonna make arrows out of it. All right, sure. Uh, if you're looking for local economy things like that, uh, ableness can be bought very cheaply on this island due to a high number of unemployed farmers. The curvature of uh, food costs a lot if you're trying to buy it. It costs three due to the heavy rationing of the Republic's food shipments. All right, so we're stealing food. Uh, other businesses on on the island include uh, Felicity's Fashions, which is a tailor, uh, the Whispering Woods Whispering Woods Wood Carving Shop, and uh, Crogson's Craftworks, 
which is a somewhat run-down workshop owned by a half-orc inventor. Is he slightly crazy but has fantastic inventions? Uh, you're not sure. Yeah, uh, the really captain says he never really traded with him much. Yeah, it'd be really interesting. He never seemed that impressive. <laughs> <laughs> I kicked in the door to the, uh, the guard house. I was starting a fight. He I just realized there was another Look solution. Who I, am. I just realized there was another solution to our problem. We could have just yeah, approached this, this guy and been all like, hey, we've got some stuff we want to sell at Cog's World, but we are ratified traders there. You are a ratified trader. Can we do yeah, this? You Why did we not do you that? You could have just <laughs> talked to him, piggybacked onto his ship, Why? and just Why? paid him a bit of a cut Why? of your profits. But then you lose money. You don't gain money. <laughs> Here's the thing. Or gain as much we're, money. we're pirates. We pirate now we're, now we're pirates. I did now, sign on to be a pirate. pirates. <laughs> no, we were pirates before. We didn't work for a government. We were a free ship. That doesn't mean we're pirates. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we pirated. Beatrice doesn't actually care that much. Yeah. Like... Whichever way... These I'll guys are supporting a, a, a ruthless favorite. empire that murders people on a whim. Seriously, should we get rid of this guy? Yeah. Is he, is he useful? I don't really want to kill him. If, here's the thing. If you keep behind him and you just, one of us sticks with him to threaten him and force him to essentially keep up the ruse of, like, everything's fine and we're just still selling stuff... He doesn't seem like a very good liar. That's true. Assign the ship over to you, please. Just leave me alone. Well, yes, we'll do that kill first. Him. And I'll get up the deed. Sign. Find the ship uh, he will ask you to leave them off in a dinghy somewhere. <laughs> yeah, we're like, we're leaving him on a desert island, right? No, yeah, not a desert island. No, 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 like a just desert a, desert island. Island. a deserted, a deserted, a deserted, un uninhabited, or and we could we'll, just say like if we'll give him a bottle of rum. We do have the option of saying that <laughs> and if he cooperates and if we trust him to cooperate, that after we'll drop him off at an inhabited port, we might even give him the ship back. Like honestly, yep. do we want to keep the extra ship? It's nice to have more cargo hold. The extra ship has an upkeep of five lucre per week, plus something called DR, which is danger rating of whatever task you set it to do. Worth noting, however, you do not have to keep that ship with you. You can set it to do something, like say run a trade caravan, at which point it starts earning money. Okay. We'll have it do that. <laughs> we can, say, we can uh, offer honestly, him a job. <laughs> that Lemurian ruin back in Watchtower, yeah. there was a boatload more shit in there. Way more than you could fit on your boat. You could just set it doing runs. You would have to crew it, because yes. its crew has disappeared. Yes. But you could set it doing that. I vote yes for that. Although, how, do we, get the here, how do we get the money from that ship? We return to Magic. a, a shared port. It drops off another port. Yeah. Alright. Um, <laughs> we could get these slither tongues, both of them, collectively, to work on the one guy. Maybe get him to, like... Make him more agreeable to work with us? Uh, I don't know. Just, just you guys the two of them is not powerful enough to do that. Yeah, well, one thing I've learned from the Flash is it's probably not a good idea to try to keep prisoners indefinitely. I don't want to keep him indefinitely, I just don't want to kill a guy. We're not killing him, we're throwing him on an uninhabited island with a knife and some rum. You could make like proper pirates and just force him to be part of the crew. Yeah, but that's slavery. Yes, and that's not something we do. You could pay him. <laughs> oh yeah, that would Tell counteract me. the whole slavery. Thing. It would be at that point hostage work yeah. environment, hostile work environment, community <laughs> service, <laughs> prison prison slavery. I feel like at this point, there's no benefit to us killing you. We don't want to kill you. We're I perfect. also don't want you to kill me. That's good. We're, all, we're in agreement here. We can work together. I'm gonna get a drink. Okay. Um. Well, I'm not on the ship, so I don't really. I can't really do anything about it. Yeah. Which ship am I on again? You're with you Betty. You're on the Duchess. No, no, no. He's on the oh, Spinny Jenny. Okay. It is Robin Hill, Sanger Mass, and myself. Oh, yeah, yeah. The girls are on yeah. the Spinny oh, Jenny. Guys and dolls. That's how the ships are separated. That seems horribly dated. Like, we're five years old or something. <laughs> well, no. It's it's from that, uh, like, whatever music. Like, it was into The Simpsons. Mark Hamill. No, no. I mean, like, the whole, like... I mean, like, the whole idea of just separating... Oh, by gender? Yeah. It, okay, the that reason why we kept... Se no, no, no. no. <laughs> There's a reason for it. Okay, it so is an effectively lazy way to split a group of people into two roughly 50% groups. No, no, no. There, <laughs> there was a reason behind it. Clara is meant, was meant to search the hold, right, for clues. Betty is the most responsible, so she's the captain. And then Sangamash, we needed to crew our ship to help repair. 
So then, with the two of us, we're just like, we may as well stay on this ship and have two and, and two. And as you said, Bosun staying with the ship, Captain yeah. staying with the ship. But now, Beatrice would have found whoever either the most responsible person, or other than herself, or the person who is most scared of her, to be responsible for the whole while she's gone. <laughs> I'm trying to think if any of the crew are scared of Finn. <laughs> well, there's or, that or, guy uh, that we or... just got. <laughs> well, yeah, there's that guy. He's scared of you. Or, uh, but he's scared of Shanky Shanky scared Kopech volunteers. <laughs> at which point you go, No. No, <laughs> no she wouldn't put Shanky oh. No, 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 no. You can put the, the military guy. <laughs> what, are, he, what are we trying to... to, to, to who, what is the, what's the task? What, uh, right? oh, being in charge of the hold of our ship. Yeah. The spinning giant? No, no, no. There needs to be three. Because Betty is no longer. She needs the... someone to keep shanking Kopesh from stealing things while yeah. she's away. And oh. I require <laughs> three inventory checks a day, so. <laughs> yeah, military guy. Gerard. I'm sure Gerard will do two of those. <laughs> it's a very important job, man. I mean, he can do at least one sit one in, or one or two inventories a day. I'll say beginning. I'll, I'll tell him, be like, get, like uh, start <laughs> like, of day and end of day. Yeah, just if you like, give just, him a pay just, raise just, if he just does tell, it. Just tell Betty you've done three. Exactly. <laughs> That's what he was planning on doing. <laughs> yeah, he put me in charge of, uh, I, of uh, uh, crew, staff. Of crew so, morale. so I. You're uh, the new head of HR. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I immediately veto that decision. As captain, I'm like, yeah, I know better, so no. <laughs> anyway, so what are you doing with Captain Boy? We can't have him discovered by a search crew if he's going to flip on us. <laughs> or on the chance that the guy searching the ship is somebody who knew gonna, him. Okay, you know what? Let's Probably a decent Now that we're out of the area of we danger, let's, we're going to come back together, right? I want to I wanna come up. All right, so we don't need to kill you. We don't, right? want to kill him. we don't really want to kill you, and I'm sure you don't want to die. Would you be willing to work on our crew for the pro and we will like you will become a member of our party, right? Will work with us, again we'll equal pay, you get the Seniors. same exact rights as everybody else. He's, a, he's a captain, so a senior, a senior staff not position. Dying. Yes, 100. Yeah. Okay. And if somebody tries to harm you, I will step in. Lightning Jack will be your supervisor. <laughs> okay. He doesn't. Sp he doesn't speak for the crew. <laughs> Betty will be your supervisor. <laughs> okay. okay. He's agreeing. He doesn't want to die. <laughs> You're not gonna die. Tell Betty if there's a problem, and she'll get word to me. What are you setting him to do? Uh, inventory. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we just when we shoot sh uh, shirt uh, blush, 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 blush. when our ship gets searched, we don't want him going like all oh, the pirates. They attacked my crew and tried to kill me. He could even still say like, "Hey, I'm the captain of the ship." If we want to, because it's his ship, they recognize him, and it wouldn't be uncommon for the rest of his crew to change. I mean, but then he he'd have to keep up the act, which is the issue. Everyone and, already and knows he's a coward, so if he's no, Actually, like a freak. He can just say we were attacked by a wyvern on the way here. We're a bit shaken oh. up. Yeah, that works. I don't like that smile. <laughs> that smile is a really bad thing for us. <laughs> I'm trying to keep this guy alive. Maybe we should. Just I want to keep. Him. <laughs> I I'm just keep saying. I'm just saying. Keeping people alive hasn't worked out for us in the past. No. But Greg, just do the... not ever making insight checks towards <laughs> people. You call I will alive. insight not check this gentleman right now. I will insight can check. We, yeah. You actually already did. Uh, yeah. You did passively. You got like a nine on the die. He got like a nineteen yeah, on the so. die. Yeah, he got nineteen yeah. on the die. Right? As far as you can tell, he's shit scared of you. Mm -hmm. You seriously doubt he's planning on tattling? He just really wants to not die. He might tell someone eventually. Probably when he's far, far away from you. Yeah. At which point we don't really care. He might tell his grandchildren when he's. <laughs> There's this one time. Oh, Wait, the main vibe you're getting from this, he doesn't really want to be in this line of work anymore. <laughs> All right. But well, with the ghost ships you know and the wyverns. How about this? We set them off on an on a habited port on the way to Cockerel. Right? No, we should do it after Cockroach, because otherwise no, 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 nearest no. one is Porter. Right. So, we'll drop him off somewhere he wants to be on the we'll, way. We'll do it after Cockroach. We'll do it after Cockroach. That then he might be able to throw a wrench in our cog. The the wrench being thrown can, is we don't want the wrench. Like yeah, he like it can also occur by dropping off earlier and then him sending word to Cockroach. So if we just do it after, if we can handle it more directly, it's fine. Let's get through this. Whatever, I mean, okay, no, we essentially have two options here. We keep him alive and keep, have him part of our crew for now, or we murder him. 
Those are our two options. Oh, he's not here. Desert so if, Island. If the guy comes on. Yeah. Guy comes on the ship to search, and you can and leave him on a desert island. Go sell your cargo, and then go pick him up again. Okay. Yeah, I'm down with you that. Expend time doing that. But I'm down with that. Are it's there any uh, desert islands near Cog's World? Probably. Well, not, not desert. Like a couple days just, away. You, they have people some do get picked up. Deserted. Okay. Yeah, people get yeah. picked up from deserted islands, though, I'm saying. They, it's, but no, it, it'll be fine. It happens. It'll be fine. By the time he probably gets picked up, we'll but probably be able to get the our the job done. Whatever you say, Captain. <laughs> you don't want to murder, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to work I, with this. I think right now... I was like, if we, if we have all the ship, though, and the guy comes on to search, and he's all like, they you know, killed my crew, they're trying to kidnap me. Is, then this, we kill him and the inspector, we and then we say that they got into a fight, and kill him. I know, if he had just kept fighting, we would have killed him, and this wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, but he's a coward. This, this happens in, like, every d d game, as soon as someone takes prison. Yeah. It's like, well, we can't kill him now. You didn't have any compunction against doing it a minute ago. Well, yeah, it's the Geneva he Convention. He was a combatant. You don't That's kill war. war prisoners. He was a combatant before. You're not at war, and there is no. Oh, I'm at war. <laughs> I'm at war. He's a goddamn POW. I don't know. Whatever you guys want to do, we can either right? drop him off or keep him with us. Let's make a decision to move forward. Oh, uh, we're dropping yeah. him off. Okay. Dropping off deserted island. All yep. right. We will tell deserted him. island a couple days away. Yep. We will say we will come back for you. Yes. As soon as we were down. Yes. We're not going to just leave you here to die. That would be a horrible thing to do. We're not that bad. <laughs> or we could just send a ship yeah. to get him there's, afterwards. There's coconuts, right? There's water. <laughs> it's like a single rock. <laughs> it's just like nothing. That's a coconut. I'm going to do a cursory check for any poisonous, deadly animals on this island. Several. They're ubiquitous. Here's a knife. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Goodbye. No, here's a machete. Yeah, here's a machete. Here's a machete, and here's some food. <laughs> By the time bit. we get back, he's probably going to be the most badass person. Here's a machete and a sandwich. Go play. <laughs> Try not to die. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> Have fun. All right. Ready. Sounds good. <laughs> so your ship arrives into Cogworld Island itself. We did get a uh, sign over the ship, though, first, so we already, uh, did, we already, did, we already did say that. Okay. <laughs> uh, you didn't, actually, but... Okay. You did! It'll be on the recording! <laughs> there is proof! There were several points where you suggested doing it, but yes, you Well, you said you he would sign that. over the ship, and I was like, yes, we'll do that, and then yep. I'm pushing a paper towards you. Anyway. Yeah, he'll certainly do that in exchange for not dying. Anyway, so you guys arrive at Cogworld Island, a couple of gentlemen. Making sure our paperwork's in order before we get there. Sure. Your <laughs> Bureaucracy. Here's what you do. Are you taking your forge trade pass and like throwing it away or what? Or burn it? Do, don't we still need the trade pass for both ships? No. We can just consider so, if, you, if you say they're both yours okay, and case, you have we'll like just, documents uh, that say these are both my ships. In that case, we'll just use I fake them. Yeah. I'm licensed to do business here. Yeah. It doesn't matter how many boats you have. Roger yeah. Stevens. Roger Stevens. Yep. And what, what do you think your first name is? It's Matilda Hill. Yep. Matil oh, yeah, Matilda, Matilda Hill. Hill. All right. And I'm Patrick oh. Penn. Sure. Anyway. So, an hour into the recording. Yep. <laughs> You arrive on Cogworld. <laughs> you you fail to realize whenever you craft these, we will focus on the first thing we do. I know. To, to all co complete. I, I was expecting you deliberating on murdering a guy to last like 40 minutes. Okay. All right. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you arrive at Cogworld Island, pull up into dock with your two fancy ships. A group of people on the dock come over to investigate. There is a rather skinny, pale-looking guy uh, who introduces himself as Wesley Riskringer, who is the current Reeve of Cogworld Island. That is, a Reeve is someone who is appointed to look after business while the actual lord is away. Uh, the actual lord of the island's name is Baron Bernard Barlow. He's not here right now. Apparently he's gone back to the Burning Archipelago for something. He's been gone for a while, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what was the real name? Wesley Ristringer. Leslie? Wesley. Wesley. Like Wesley Crusher. Which is why I was hoping when you said Wesley, I heard I was gonna hear like Smasher or something at the time. Like, nope, Rist Damn it. <laughs> Rist Ristringer. As in someone who goes like oh, no. <laughs> oh, I I figured he was just the guy who gave a lot of Indian burns. <laughs> He is not a badass. He looks like an accountant. Beatrice <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, immediately takes a shining to him. A couple of the guys with him look like they might be more up for beating people up. Uh, they have Infernarch Legion uniforms. They commence, you stay below decks. 
They command say search of the ship. One of them gives you sort of a cockeyed look. You're not sure if that means anything. <laughs> I will not confront him at all. <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> I swear that to God. That was a check to the seat. I our disguise, swear to right? God. Yeah. We should have had, we should have had the slither times be going. Anyway. Nothing suspicious. Nothing suspicious. Uh, you are actually passed. <laughs> You are not arrested immediately. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. No. <laughs> that means nothing to me. Uh, you are allowed to conduct business on Cogwell Island. So what would you guys like to do here? Uh, got, first, I'm uh, going to ask Mr. Uh, yes, Ristringer. Captain. Uh, have you ever heard of the uh, Sanguine... Uh, well, you're technically the owner of the secondary Spirit? ship. <laughs> he looks through a book. Oh. Uh, yeah, it docked here a couple days ago. Oh, okay. Is it still around? Ledger says so. Should okay. be on the dock somewhere. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright, I ship. grab... I'm, no, I'm, 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 I'm staying with Robin. He's in disguise. I'm sure it's Lala. You know what I want to do while we're I'm, here? I'm, yeah, no, I'm staying with Robin. First Don't thing worry. I want to do is that since none of you seem to want it, I'm going to sell some wyvern bones. Yep. I'm just pretty sure I can get a pretty good price for a wyvern bowl. Let's get a browsing check going. Yeah, want to find some merchants for our... Anyone want to spend points on a carousing check? You don't have to. It's just potentially more money. You already know someone who will buy your medicine. Yes. I would like to learn some information about uh, the half orc. That is a big pile of nothing. <laughs> well, yay. Not a crit fail, though. So it appears your crew doesn't really seem to jive well with the people on this island. I wonder why. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, take a trip over to the crazy half orc. I don't seem to be taking much of a shine or anything. Yep. There's a couple of places you can pass. Uh, heading down to the main area of town, you can see the chopping block. Its sign is literally just a wooden cutting board with a cleaver embedded in it. Uh, there is a place called Krogson's Craft Works. Uh, craft is spelled with a K, then there's a line through it, and then a C written above it. Uh, this is a fairly run-down looking workshop. It's basically just a shingle hung in front of a door. Are you heading in there? Right. Uh, there's a half-orc inside who is currently tightening a screw, so it looks like a large tank. Uh, the tank is shaking. And a bit more. I'm just gonna step out the door to see if this explodes or not. <laughs> okay. uh, after a few minutes, nothing's happened. Poke my head back in. Uh, he is now working a large crank attached to the tank. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. Hi. Hmm? He turns and pulls uh, the crank sideways. A big gout of steam comes out the side of it, blows several papers and tools around off to the side. Ah, <laughs> oh, again! Uh, is it safe to come in? What? Yeah, perfectly safe. Always safe in Krog's craft works. I'm Krog. Okay. Yes, I, I gather. Krog, Krog's. Hi, Tilda. Any relation Tilda to Grog Hill? the Rock? No, don't know who that is. Tilda Hill. Um, Descended to the great Krog the Crafty. Uh, okay. Get straight to the point here. We're looking to sell some materials. Wondering if you have any interest in purchasing them. Well, uh, what kind of materials? Metals, mostly. Uh, well, I've got a decent supply of metal at the moment. You can see a big pile of what looks like scavenged scrap metal, probably raided out of dumpsters from other mechanists. Yeah, better quality than that. I mean, I would have needed some before, before the... Legion guys confiscated my brilliant invention. The gunpowder engine would have revolutionized seafare. Gunpowder engine? I yep. don't suppose that's an engine that can move you forward at a greater speed that's powered by gunpowder? We would like to hire you. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the Republic guys, they took my prototype away and they said, they said it was unsafe. Well, that I don't doubt, actually. <laughs> Only unsafe if you run it for more than an hour. <laughs> Do you have any other great inventions like that? Oh yeah, lots of great inventions. Uh, he takes you on a tour of his them. workshop. You can find several things which appear to be highly impractical. Uh, several of them look like they might work. Is there a knife wrench? <laughs> yes. <laughs> if ever someone would make a knife wrench, it'd be this guy. <laughs> I'm just doing a knife wrench. Huh? I'm practical okay. and safe. I'm, <laughs> actually... ah! I'm fine. Totally fine. <laughs> my French? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> okay, my French, but actually. Hey, look, a drill fork. <laughs> Can drill and fork. <laughs> Mostly fork. <laughs> Why is there a list on this net here? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's Krog's list. <laughs> Can you guess who he's the descendant of? <laughs> 
self-referential jokes. That's all this ever yep. is. I'm having fun. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so it appears that thing he was working on is a kettle. A terrifying kettle. It makes like... coffee, too. Oh. <laughs> I imagine if coffee existed Wait, anywhere, it would have been the place Beatrice came thing? from, and she'd have like, a massive caffeine addiction. That uh, you realize it looks like an espresso maker. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can buy it for one lucre. Uh, actually, I'd like to um, uh, negotiate some services from you, perhaps. Quarter of a lucre. Five dollars. <laughs> here's, here's a shiny gold piece. He takes the shiny gold piece okay. and covets it carefully. All right, now, we'd like to uh, negotiate the exchange of some of our materials for uh, possibly uh, maybe... Uh, no check required. You're not sure if he has money to buy a bunch of Lemurian alloys? No, no, that's why I'm saying an exchange of for our materials services. for services. Specific... What kind of services? Oh, we have some uh, uh, some repair works and some upgrades we'd like down to our ship, and we think you uh, may be able to implement them. Oh, sure. I can, I can repair all sorts of stuff. What? If we could find your prototype, would you be able to install it on one of our ships? Oh, I yeah. think you can make another one. Uh, I don't have any more gunpowder. I took that away. But you can theoretically make the engine. I can make another one, but it needs some powder to run. Yes. We can steal that. Yeah. Will that, we'd like to commission one of those uh, fancy engines. <laughs> engines from you. Sure. Uh, you can commission one for 10 lucre. They're actually kind of expensive. Yeah, I was like, can we negotiate an exchange of some of our materials, basically supply them with materials to make it? Uh, you can try and do that, yeah. Okay. He still requests 10 lucre. Yeah, but just another way of thinking for it. Drop the price a bit for this. You're pretty sure he That's, wants food. Yes, I can. You don't yeah, think his business is doing well. <laughs> yeah, you know what you uh, Should we just offer to have this guy come work for us on, on the ship? Work for us. If you actually, what we'd really like to do sure. is. Oh, I could never leave Cog World. It's my home. My family's been here for generations, ever since the island was founded. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Cory realized who this guy is and where you are. <laughs> yeah, it's that island. <laughs> There's a large native panther population. <laughs> I don't know what's uh, going on. You should uh, listen to the Rocks and Rhinos recording. <laughs> the Caveman RPG with Daniel. Oh my God. We'll do so. Anyway. <clears throat> but so, you know, we'd love to... He tells um, you a legend about how his brilliant ancestor uh, led his tribe here to escape an ice age. <laughs> And how they established a home here. That's uh, you've actually you know, looking back. You you think you might have vaguely heard that story before? You're pretty sure no one has ever believed it. <laughs> there was an ice age before the flood. Interesting. Uh, we would. Uh, I said no one believes that story. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'd like to uh, hire you to hire you to come and install one of those fancy engines of yours onto our ship, and uh, hire you to stay with us for a while to keep it maintained. And. Uh, well, I could do that once it's fixed. It'd be a limited, uh, limited contract, so you wouldn't have to be away from your home for too long. Uh, Unless you long? wanted to be. Well, I can't leave, I mean, I, it's, it's a matter of familial pride. I can't just go gallivanting off like that stupid Tila lady. We have a fabulous show, cook. Show him the wage that we pay. I think I can show him half the wage we pay. Whatever. <laughs> you pay him a fifth. <laughs> you pay the rest of your crew. Like, show him basically a hobo. Uh, a <laughs> show him we have any wage. A, uh, we have a fair wage, and we have a room and board is included. I think conditions we are have a really good. nice cook. Why would I need a board? Is that like a bed? It's, yeah. <laughs> a place to stay and food is provided for you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Three square meals a day. Do you have any like uh, weird <laughs> bowl type contraptions? No. You make them? Well? Not since Tila started stealing all my business. Tila? Oh, what Tila. does Tila make? Tila TikToker. He points down the road. You can see there is another much nicer looking shop. There is an enormous elaborate invention of spinning cogs, ramps, and buckets and whatnot that appears to be built around the entire building. Which shunts a number of colorful balls around on little paddle wheels and corkscrews. So, and stuff. like the thing in front of science world? Yeah, very similar to that. Cool. Robinelle's already. Uh, it says Tila's Top Toy Shop on the front. 
I, I'm pretty sure it's already established that wherever you are, the captain is. Yep. So keep uh, that in mind. I'm following Robin all around. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to uh, ready to just tackle him at a moment. I'm actually notice. pretty sure both of you should probably stay on the ship. You vampire, you guard. I already met the guard. That one didn't notice. Or guard. It. Clearly, that means it's flawless. Um, I'm going to go into Tila's workshop. Sure. I'm hoping to buy like sort of a clockwork sword that comes out of my wrist. Why don't you get the assassin's blade? Uh, the inside of Tila's shop contains an eclectic collection of mechanical contrivances, such as an overly complicated toaster, small mechanical insects that scuttle around on unknown tasks, a half-finished iron golem, clockwork buggies that roll around, lots of clocks and pocket watches, uh, farming equipment such as tillers, seed planters, and plows, uh, there's a toy longbow that fires harmless soft rubber balls, a composite longbow on the same shelf that looks almost identical and appears to fire acid arrows, uh, spring razor mines, a crib that features alerts for tossing and sleep and wetness, a small prototype submarine. Uh, there are also numerous tools strewn about the area, including things like belt sanders, acetylene torches, and power songs that are positioned at the appropriate height for a gnome to work with, a.k.a. about crotch height for anybody else. <laughs> You notice the sign on the door said this was a toy shop. There's a couple of things in here you would consider toys, and a lot that you would not consider a toy. Why is there farming equipment on the island that doesn't farm anymore? Good question. I'm gonna, like, uh, you know, go for the Tila and... Hi. I'm saying that to you guys. You see a small gnomish woman. Hello. Good question. I'm looking, Hi there. I'm looking for an upgrade for this. I have, like, a show my bow. Ah. <laughs> By the way... I am really tempted to make am, you try and pronounce the name of I am mentally item. signing off on the lucre uh, cost I'm of this I'm just going to have you try and pronounce the name of that item. TikTokers. Yeah. Uh, Toxophilitic Titanium Telescoping Toppler and Tactical Titrator. Yep. <laughs> titrator. <laughs> it's, like, it's from Chemistry Titrations. <laughs> yes. It is TikTokers Toxophilitic Titanium Telescoping Toppler and Tactical Titrator. It is a short length of interconnected metal poles that connect together to form a device resembling a longbow with the string composed of a strong length of wire. A contraption is affixed to the side of it which resembles an unholy union of a quiver and a bagpipe, into which a special arrow can be slotted. It seems like this device fills the arrow with a highly acidic compound which sprays all over the target when the arrow impacts it. It seems to take the device a while to cook up a new batch of acid once one has been used. This item grants a plus two bonus to attack and damage rolls if attacks made with it. It has an ability called Acid Arrow. Once per battle, before making an attack with this weapon, you can declare that you're using this ability. If your attack hits, the target is weakened and takes ongoing 10 acid damage. Save ends. Curse. Allegedly none, since this item is not actually magic. Allegedly. Uh, Tila will tell you. Uh, she informs you that it is guaranteed 95% safe. Well, that's a higher percentage than my previous thing, so... 60% of the time, it works 100% of the time. What? Nothing's 100% safe. I mean, you could have an aneurysm at any second. Don't forget the bar chair. I mean, I'm sw I'm neck- I'm thigh deep in my three worst <laughs> fears. <laughs> Well, what other things? By the way, we're totally not on the not island. Like we're on the ship. What are the sorts of things you're looking for? The island. Well, I'm trying to get off the ship a number of times. He catches me every time. <laughs> are you interested in a complete sea white Level 10. Does it do? Well, I'm looking over to that iron golem over there. I'm thinking maybe That's made of metal. Be, yeah, but you might, you might be able to use it as a like a framework to base a golem on. Like, like, and you know, bones can be pretty fragile, but it's like metal doesn't fly very well. I'm pretty sure you can figure that out. If I could, I would have already. <laughs> I got my hands full on the submarine commission anyway. Uh, submarine commission. Yep. Interesting. They sound more and more like the Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly they're Hydra. Are they U-boats? What? <laughs> like, uh, the Infernal who, Legion. Who's the commission for? Sure. Uh, I probably shouldn't tell people that. Hey, Nurnark Legion! Or, you know, I mean, she the asked vampire. me not to mention anybody. Or the vampire lady who uh, oh. who mentioned that uh, uh, there was someone who was going to buy a lot of metal. It's the lady from the, uh, from the uh, Sagwin Spirit. Yeah. Oh, you know her? Uh, partially. Oh, okay. God. Just the related vision of his face, for the love of God. <laughs> like, no, please don't do it. <laughs> Do not mention what ship you are from. I'm not going to. Okay. Do you want the boat? Do you want the boat? Uh, yeah, actually. Ten lucre. Ten lucre. Uh, barter. Uh, let me get a friend of mine. Your carousing check says not gonna work. <laughs> he can't barter for himself? Not really. 
can we make a deal about, like, say, hey, we've got some raw goods, we'd be... You could certainly sell a bunch of stuff to her, yeah. Well, I've got some stuff, I might be able to trade for that. Oh, wait, if there's anyone that might want the I, I wouldn't be so prefer. vague as to what we have. I would just tell her, Lemurian metals. That will perk her ears up like crazy, and you go, oh, you're interested. Interesting. Oh, how much uh, you want? Oh, what, do you, what do you think about... She's also talking to the vampire chick. I am? No. No. The gnome lady is, is has been commissioned by um, Liara, so, like, there is a connection there. You have to be relatively careful about what information you give the gnome. Uh, what are you... Are you a limited sure? number of resources, like, where Lemurian metals can come from. Yes. You've been quiet for an awfully long time, mister. <laughs> <laughs> I keep... It's, uh, it's just like this uh, mental tick. It's like I'm trying to shut myself up and every single time I think I might be saying something stupid. Hmm. Oh, I have something to She goes off and rummages around her box and comes back to something that looks a bit like a colander covered in wires and cogs and spinning things. Uh, I have a thinking hat. Really? How does it work? It shocks you when you're thinking stupid things. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious, but no, that's not what it does. Tila's thinking hat. Oh my god, it's an actual magic item. Yep, Tila's thinking hat. This device looks suspiciously like a colander with wires and cogwheels all over it. What's to your colander? surprise, however, it it's genuinely seems to sharpen your mental faculties. It also throws alarmingly large sparks off of it with some regularity. This item grants a plus two bonus to mental defense while well worn. Spark Arc. Once per battle is a quick action, you can deal damage equal to twice your level to all creatures engaged with you. Curse. Allegedly none, since this item is not magic. <laughs> Again, good for either Sangamass or myself. <laughs> or her. I don't get melee. No, this is for people this who are like... something gets into melee. Yeah. <laughs> true. True. My mental defense is already the highest here, though. So, do I ask her if she's interested in the Marine Metal? Yeah. yeah. Try and negotiate a lower price and we've got metal, we'd like to sell it to you. Are and... you interested in the Marine Metal? Oh! <laughs> well, right. Let me get a friend of mine to discuss things. Betty. No, or not Betty. Betty. I, I'm, I'm currently with, uh, with our orc gentleman. Um, but I can say I'll have someone from my crew over here to... Uh... We really don't need the engine. I, I think the engine would be cool. But why did we need it again? The still water. Still seas. Right. Still waves. There's a section of the ocean where there is no right. wind. Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> well, never mind. Also, yeah. you would need something to propel a submarine. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm just questioning. Why? Why am I not allowed off the ship? Vampire. Vampire is and... docked on this island. If she Vampire finds you, she dead. murdered you. Yes. Yeah. And smell yeah. face mask. Smell. Buddy. Vampire. Oh, vampires. Vampires. I think they're not convinced that the disguise is sufficient. <laughs> uh, okay. Also, suits. Vampires are not. Visual, that visual that, memory. We can't really force you to stay on the ship. None of them are still on it. I am. <laughs> hey, 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 wait a second. Wait a I second. Am. Jack and his bondage gear. <laughs> Keep him distracted. <laughs> like he couldn't convince Jack to take him on a night at the town. <laughs> hey, Jack, so there's this hot the vampire chick gear? I want to... You... How come your clothes don't fit? Huh? Oh, uh... He, you need to swing by Felicity's. Hand me down. You know what, Taylor? Uh, there's Felicity. Felicity Weaver. She makes pretty things. Two points down the street, there's a tailor shop. Uh, I'm surprised she got over the whole Lemurian metal thing real quick. Yeah. No, okay. And is not just going, mm. Lemur, what? no, bring, go back. Well, she assumes you're selling something. Okay, okay, you have to you send someone to, to come. Get someone is, okay, to if you just terms, stand right. there and say, I'll have someone come discuss this with you, and then I show up without you sending that's, any message that's the to thing. get me? I'm going yeah. over to go to yep. you. Okay. okay. Right. right? Or I can always come in and say, oh, there you are. You know, like, conveniently, I happen to be coming into this shop, too. How much lucre do we have? But first, I'm going to finish talking 16. to the orc. That is including paying your crew for docking. Okay. Uh, first, I'll talk right. to the orc. And before selling metal. I'll talk to the orc and say, well, why don't you gather up gather up whatever you think you would need in order to work on the. Uh, I'll send over a crew member. A little it looks like a pile of scrap metal in the corner. I could use that. Uh, but we want Mostly to I build... need powder, though. I mean, would you be it's able... worthless without it. Fair enough, but we'd still need the device. Would you be able to build it? Would you want to build a device directly on the ship, or would you want to build it here and have it transferred to the ship? What would be the best setup? Where are you getting powder from? We don't have powder yet, but if we could get it, this sounds like it would be The only place that's got it is the Fernark storehouse, the place they took my engine. Well, the Fernark is the only one around here that has gunpowder, but it's big world. You don't know of anyone else with gunpowder. No, there's no there's but I'm betting he wouldn't know if I told him there was. <laughs> Do other people have gunpowder? It's terrifying. <laughs> anyway, uh, but yeah, I'll someone uh, from my crew come over here to uh, swim by pick you up, and you can come over to our ship for dinner, and uh, we'll get you set up. Okay. And I will leave. And I walk through the door, and I go, you need to come with me. 
Do you do you actually just walk in the door, grab her by the shoulders, and go <laughs> carry her yes. off? I try to imagine like I walking, need you for a minute. I, walk, I figure I'm walking past the the other shop that's just like <laughs> <laughs> what on earth, Clara? Negotiate. You just said her much talky thing. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> I want that. There's also another thing that might be interesting. Uh, she's interested in marine metals. Discuss prices. Hello. Hi, I'm Matilda Hill. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So, uh, yes, you're... I'm Tila. I'm Tila hoping you're not you. yelling the whole the marine metals thing, by the way. No. I'm hoping you're, like, talking face yeah, yeah. about marine metals. Yeah. Also, like, I hear you're interested in purchasing some of our cargo. Do you have somewhere where we could discuss this? Looks right. We're in a storefront. This isn't exactly the... Oh, it's the back room, I guess. People sure, keep complaining about the stuff in there, though. I used to have it out here, but then everyone said it shouldn't be out here. I'll go to the back room. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, there are a bunch of sex toys in the back room. Nice. It's a toy shop. Do not. <laughs> Do Sells all kinds of toys. Not. <laughs> Let's. You don't relay this information to us, right? <laughs> no. Yep. No, it does. No. Hold on. Rub it out. Roll a will save, not table talk. Roll a will save, not table talk. No. Hold on. No. Mental defense. I automatically fail. Ah, <laughs> uh, fail. No, 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 no. All right. Did he just uh, unconsciously think, wow, there's a lot of uh, sex toys in here? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to try to escape. Okay. Yep. <laughs> so I guess that's uh, just a general Wait, dex check. All right. Wrong? No, I, we both hear that. I go, okay, Robin, I know what you're planning. Yeah. A bunch of parents kept coming to the store and saying that. Ro Robin Hill. Kids Robin came in. Well, they, they just said the stuff in my store wasn't appropriate for children. Robin Hill. They never said what they meant, so I just started moving random things to the back room until they stopped pitching. Robin Hill. Apparently, it was these things. Robin Hill, I know Fair what enough. you're planning. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, we can, they said they were inappropriate for children. We can, I said, I, I well, will, obviously. I, I mean, will, why would you let a kid play with a chainsaw? That's just asking. Uh, I will mental we speak can, to Robinel and say, if you stay where you are, I will get some of these for you. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, we can go, but you do we're, we're going to have to do it my way. Describe things, right? No, I'm not telling you. Just grab something. <laughs> He's not even going to. I'm going to want to see for myself. <laughs> You have like a gift bag option. <laughs> Robin, all we can go. We're gonna have to do this my way. You have, but the thing You're, is, you can't just barge in there. She'd be like, "How would you know I had sex toys back here?" Yeah. Well, you could just say that. It's a toy shop. That one's bitching yeah. about it. <laughs> so let's discuss. Let's uh, barter here. Sure. So we'll uh, negotiate a deal where we're selling her some Lumerian metals. I'd also want to make sure that we make sure we retain enough for send somebody to talk to our orchid friend there to make sure we have anything he's gonna need. We keep. Uh, he has stuff he needs. The only thing he needs is powder. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. So negotiate selling the stuff to her at as high a deal as possible and kicking in the bow okay. and possibly some sex toys. <laughs> what about the hat? Yeah. What about the hat? And the hat. Do you want a chainsaw? I have a chainsaw too. It's really cool. I, I mean, really don't want. It in the chainsaw. Does it act yes. like a longsword? I work. Sword? I work with yeah. children. I work it's with a chainsaw. <laughs> I work with children. Okay. We don't need this on our no. ship. No. I'm gonna. I just don't like to play with it. Robin Hill's. Robin Hill's not gonna stay on the ship. There's no way. So we're gonna go. Like five minutes. All right. Five I minutes. want to take a closer look at no, this chainsaw. No, we literally can't. Sure. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Robin Hill. We're gonna have to disguise our sense. Alright? Go it's roll around the, the Spaz Mocker 4 Buzz Cutter. This device looks like a sword with a thin chain composed of jagged metal teeth running along its cutting edge. When activated, it makes an ungodly noise, belches black smoke, and the teeth begin cycling around the blade and down behind a cover at the back. Tila called this a breakthrough due to it being much lighter than her other models of similar devices while being just as terrifying. <laughs> gives a plus two bonus to attack and damage rolls, attacks made with it. It has two traits, the first of which is damn loud. The noise this item makes while in operation makes it difficult to hear anything else. While using this item, you take a minus two penalty to wisdom checks made to hear anything. The ringing in your ears persists after you switch it off, so the penalty remains during the entire battle after it was used. Rending wounds. Each hit with this weapon inflicts ongoing damage to the target equal to the current value of the escalation die. Curse, allegedly none, it's not magical. Alright, um, uh, so yeah, no, the, the she has chainsaw too. Does this only affect the user? Yes. Alright, mm. uh, chainsaw too. Each of those items is 10 lucre. So that's 30 right. lucre total. Yeah. Okay. And as for payment, uh, the first thing you notice is that she offers you an amount of money that is quite a lot. I need to calculate something. Alright, so we're going to disguise our scent. Mm -hmm. um, 
Bat poop is probably uh, she only offers you sixty four lucre, which right off the bat you know it is an absurdly high amount to offer. You get the sense she's probably not very good at negotiating. <laughs> You're busting my balls here. <laughs> I, I tried to negotiate one of the magic. Wisdom check. I also do that, or is it not my thing? Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Yes. Sir. You're breaking my balls, man. You're breaking my balls. Twenty-two, unless you're a Uh Then twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. All right. Uh, you're pretty sure you could take advantage of her being rather naive, get a bunch of money. You're pretty sure she would probably realize later that you swindled her and might be pissed at you. I think it's best that we keep her surprised. I'm actually inclined to agree with that as well. But like, um, uh, that so seems we're like disguising a... our scent and we're, we're we're coming out. Seems like a. I have a law, so right? So I will uh, buy those, ma- You're those probably uh, wearing items it when you from you. So just how much just, you I have all many varieties of clothes. She appears to be offering about twice right. what it's worth. You know, wear some sex panther. She's offering we'll just, sixty-four. Hmm? Yeah, you we'll, know, we'll take the, the 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 deal as is. <laughs> if I can swing away to get the items for like eight lucre instead of ten. You're taking the sixty-four. Okay, vote. Taking the sixty-four or sixty-four is a little high. If we if we do the sixty-four. Then we spend 30, so we'll have 34, which will leave us with overall 50, which is not Keep bad. Keep in mind, you can still roll to negotiate to get that even higher. Yeah. It's not bad. Oh, wait, 64 is we get. Yes. Yeah. Oh! No, 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 and yeah, we pay 10 lucre each, which will be minus 30. So basically, 30. our options right now are, do we negotiate to get higher, and then therefore possibly have her our here's enemy? The thing, here's, the, here's the thing, or food and water are going to cost a lot here. Yeah, we're only down, what, three food and water? Two. two. Actually, two. it only took two weeks to get here. Never mind. That's not even an issue. Uh, well, it could be, depending on how long we stay here. We want yeah. to, what, you know, naturally we want to get as much as possible. But yeah, but we want to have we, her as not yeah, an like, enemy. We can say that Robin knows the kind of guy who has, like, a million be? different kinds of clones, right? Well, also, like, I think clones. as long as we don't raise the value, we're he's, not going to He's, like, he's like the dude from Anchorman. Like, he might. Can we say that? Uh, if I want to disguise myself, I, I'm breaking out this really crappy stuff. It's called Axe. Axe. <laughs> oh, it's called Cleaver. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Cleaver. Okay. Um, but it's spelled Cleaver. <laughs> you know? Okay, so we're not negotiating the price higher, right? I think, yeah, I think we, 50 is good. Yeah. We'll be left with 50 Luger, that's quite a bit. Yeah. So we'll take the else's and. You're taking buy 64? The, yeah, buy the magic items. I thought that was like the not good one. No, that's the. That was the offer she amount. gave 64 us. 64 is the offer she's given you. <laughs> what you <laughs> recognize is that she's offering you an absurdly oh, wow. high amount of money. Oh. But that is what we say, well, we're buying her right now. She we doesn't assume... really know how to negotiate. We, well, if I were to talk about it later, we say that we assume that she was swindling us on the items. You would guess she was given a large advance of money. And uh, also say that we assume that's just what it was uh, worth on this island, or she needed had a particularly high need for it, and that's why she was offering so much for it. Taking 64? Yeah. Alrighty. Minus 30. For buying all three items. Yeah. You know how much it hurt me not to try and haggle that? We're, we're being put at 50 lucre. Yeah, I know. It's, that's quite a bit. It's like physical pain. Yeah. No, it's fair she enough. She also got her, like, Murian metal, so. Murian metals, alloys. Also fancy Murian glass that's super strong. All sorts of fun stuff in there. Oh, uh, transparent aluminum? Totally. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah. I was just saying, probably. At this point, fun idea. Robin and, all, and I are showing up at. Do not pick them all up at once. <laughs> <laughs> They're not matching. What well, could possibly go wrong? Get the bow. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting the buzz cutter. <laughs> the Spazmacher 4. Yeah. It's perfectly safe to keep around children. Look, it has a safety. It's just a switch. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. How many we'll odds do I have at the moment? We'll figure that one I out think later. your glasses are already a head slot thing. Yeah. Ah, I have a head slot. Uh, Vivian doesn't. Sangamas doesn't. Uh, Vivian does. She has the chal. Oh, right. Uh, Sangamas or one of you two? Uh, Probably you. Yeah. How many are you at? I am at one, two, three, four. Okay, you're fine. <laughs> Um, I'm at four right now because I'm holding Yeah, at this staff. point, Robin and Oh, no, wait, I'm at five. Although I wouldn't have that on me. If you're at five, you're okay. Do not be yeah. at six. <laughs> yeah, here we are. Yeah, I have. I forgot about my combat clothing. So you're at five? Yeah, I'm at five. Okay. okay. The clothing you can give to somebody else. Literally anyone can use that. Yeah. <clears throat> Cloak? Clothing. clothing. Combat clothing. It's body armor. Oh. Yeah. All right. So. It's basically the large trench at, coat. At this point, Robin and I are walking in, sticking to high heaven. 
Uh, you have no way of knowing where we are slash that there's sex items in that shop. But if you went out saying you were no, looking he, for them, I rolled he, a mental defense. He has a sense. No, 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 no. But as far as she knows, you have no way of knowing that stuff's there. No, yeah, but no, we're just walking around, and then we we go into the shop and you go, oh, what's this shop? Yeah, you can do that. And then you can't just go barging into the back yeah, room. Yeah, we're not. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop him from doing that. It's okay. <laughs> like you hold your horses, we're here. It's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay. Pleasure doing business Speaking with you. If you do, you have a preferred uh, do you have a preferred service to come pick up your medals or? Yeah, I can send some away. All right, I will go back to the ship and make sure we're ready for you. Hey, Krog. What? <laughs> you want to do a job real quick? I don't know. What does it pay? A sandwich and five bucks. <laughs> okay. Do I really want a sandwich? <laughs> All right. I still need to find a buyer for my bones. As I leave the shop, I spot you guys. Robin L, you're gonna want to go in there. If Grog had money, he might buy them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I, I think we can skip over my ne my negotiation with the gnome. <laughs> sure. How much lucre would best? <laughs> uh, can we uh, say on the gold level because he's not investing like in an, an absurd amount of sex toys? Is he not? <laughs> he is not purchasing sex toys for the ship. He's not doing it with the, the crew's money. So no, he's doing it with his own out of change. Alright. Uh, I'm right. using my 50 gold. Sure. You buy a suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> like, they are gold pieces, so... Like, and these aren't, like, heavy machinery, I'm assuming. Are they? Yeah, they might be. Are they heavy machinery? One is. They're no mission inventions. <laughs> they are all... A, they are all. They're, it's probably a large machine with several attachments. <laughs> <laughs> it's a suitcase that when you fold out becomes a larger object. <laughs> it's like dungeon to go. <laughs> God damn. Alright. Rob, no, you got what you wanted. We gotta get back on the ship. It's the bag of fun. <laughs> you can go try it out on the ship. <laughs> So that keep Robin Hill's busy for a while. <laughs> is it is it bag of holding? <laughs> no, it's just bag of fun. Okay. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> Robin Hill, we're going back to the ship right now. So, what are the rest of you guys doing in town? Well, I still need to find a buyer. Okay, sure. You could try poking around various places if you find. I'm assuming, by the Maybe way, like that 64 is like some sort of nobleman. Uh, pretty quick guess. There doesn't appear to be any nobleman here. Probably the closest thing would be the Baron, but he's not in town. Uh, you could try the bar slash butcher shop. See if you can find a proprietor knows anyone who would buy something like that. All right. You could also try buying clothes. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm I'll, assuming the yeah, 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 I, I still need to do that. I'm assuming the 64 looper includes the cargo that was also on the... Uh, yes. So, I'm going to walk into the tailor shop. I'm going to go over to the... Easily the, the most beautiful woman you have ever seen in your life, who is currently fitting a dress on a mannequin, I'm going to looks go over at you and says, <laughs> Ah, darling, welcome. I need help. Oh, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> come, come, come. Let's get you out of that. Thanks. Welcome to the makeover in-game club. And, uh, what, 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 what movie have I heard that from? All of them? That have any, any kind of tailor in them? <laughs> now, uh, my form of uh, profession, uh, any like uh, any mobility, so that's that's important. Uh, the adventure. Strong, strapping, stiletto blade heels. Thinking something Amazonian. <laughs> uh, she actually gets starts fitting you with uh, various silk things. It should be loose, easy to move around in. Pretty combat dress. You might want to get one stick of those leather shoulder pieces that, you know... Carl, <laughs> stick with dark colors for sneaking. You don't want to wear a bright yellow dress. I can get two different She things. shows you a bright pink taffeta dress. You know, I'll get, uh, I'll get, goofy. I'll get one pretty <laughs> thing pink and I'll get one practical thing. Pink. I'm going to get one pretty thing and pass the front. Sure. How pretty of a pretty thing are you looking for? Um, something that that's go again. That looks nice. Again, but not. Oh god. No looters being spent here. Just so you know. <laughs> Basically, I want something that says. You can get a suit of traveling clothes if you're not spending any looters. Can I say my sentence without getting in trouble? I'm, I'm just letting you know that you're not. You're not Evidence here. suggests no. <laughs> Sorry, Corey. We will all shut up while you finish yes, talking. Go ahead. So, for the pretty thing, I want something that says yes. That's, you know, you look pretty in that, but not something that says, 
Oh God, she's trying too hard. <laughs> Welcome to the struggle of every girl's life she says, ever. Oh, honey, you'd look pretty in anything. She actually runs her hand down your arm <laughs> in a somewhat inappropriate way. <laughs> Work that into a deal for your clothes. Well, this feels my dress change doesn't mean my sexual attractions change. It could. You could uh, buy the traveling clothes and then bone for the pretty ones. <laughs> Uh, the traveling clothes you could afford with your pay. The pretty clothes, though, they're running in the one to five lucre range. They are fancy things. I guess we can see if we can figure something out. You trying to seduce her? Yes. <laughs> Plus five. Hey, it's still a pretty lady. Yeah. Just because you're also a pretty lady doesn't change that just, anything. In fact, it just that just means you're probably going to be at fumbly. In fact, <laughs> this equals the softest thing that could possibly happen to you. So, just so you know. I give him some advice through uh, mental connection. I don't need your... She's <laughs> <laughs> just like, you're not helping. Really not. <laughs> you hear just overtly depraved things. Well, plus, over with the... plus five, it comes down to 30. All right. Yeah, she seems very interested. Nice lady like you. Uh, she offers actually asks if you want to come up for a drink. She lives above the shop, apparently. <laughs> Right. I guess I'm going to be out of commission for a bit. How many times, it was really quick, question. how many times have we played out one of these scenes? I know, how many, everyone, okay, we still have two people who need to bone for the cause. I don't think Sterling has yet. I haven't. Yeah, that's why I said two people. Vivian's character hasn't either. A Wait, Sangamas? When, when is Sangamas? I don't count Sangamas. Oh yeah, okay, that's fair. <laughs> That's right. out of here though. <laughs> when he shows up two weeks in a row, I will start considering saying I'm as a member of the crew. <laughs> I mean, that, that is a fair point. All right, you had enough with the nice lady? Sure, she offers you a drink. Some tea. Right. Oh, God. A oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Is it? Is it? It is, isn't it? <laughs> well, I know what it is. <laughs> so if he suddenly drops off the mental speak, I'll be like... That well, doesn't necessarily mean anything. Yeah, <laughs> the, what that can also mean is that he just stopped talking to us because he's busy. <laughs> That's where we have to decide, are we going to do this? <laughs> Mental defense doesn't do anything to us. No, I was just seeing if I had any bonuses to so, No, I don't. So it's just base... D20. It's just a d20. Ten. Just let me know what you're all Alright. Alright. Uh, yeah, you guys, uh, you don't hear anything from Eduardo for a while. <laughs> I kind of want to cut the session there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <That's fine. laughs> Oh, come on. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. How long has it been since he took the thing? Since we... Which thing? Since we killed the wyvern. It's a been week? a week. Damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry, did Eduardo just get date raped? Possibly. You're not sure. You'll find out next week. <laughs> next time. <laughs> on Dragon Ball Z. Hey, Eduardo. Oh, come on. I give you all my de all my best details whenever Actually, you Actually, you know what? I, I am going to give you a little bit of the opener of this next part. Uh, he actually comes back on the mess to speak, uh, but a couple minutes later, screaming in agonizing pain. We are. Vampire. Is that vampire? Yeah, we are. You're not sure. <laughs> we are. Could be a different vampire. I'm, I'm actually, I want to give the cliffhanger proper senses. Uh, the nice pretty lady you were talking to is straddling you in a bed. Your chest has been cut open and she is trying to pry your ribcage apart with her bare hands. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> and you're awake for this. Yep. That's uh, that's what woke you up. So, <laughs> just remember From you've got under one of those her very nice dress. On you. There are several spider legs. Ooh. Fine. Oh. Mhm. Mm <laughs> ah. So, <laughs> that's where she gets her silk. You can give me a actually you can give me a tracker roll with some kind of penalty for the agonizing pain. <laughs> <laughs> Try and figure out what that is. <laughs> For whatever reason, my character is still the patron at spiders. <laughs> 18. You're not sure. <laughs> Something that's trying to kill you. <laughs> I think Robinel's still nearby. I'm on the ship. I was honestly I no expecting no Robinel to fall into this. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the ship. You're on the ship too? Yeah. I thought you guys went to a sex shop. We did, and then we immediately went, okay, we're done here. Oh, went back. Ship. Okay. You probably haven't made it all the way back. No, yeah. No. <laughs> so, we, okay, we'd be halfway back and we'd be like, screaming. Oh, oh, what? Oh, what? oh shit. <laughs> what's, the, what's all this then? Well, if Hey, anything, those sex toys might come in handy. If anything, you would probably know where it was heading last. So, we're not exactly being oh, fried with the fact that it was needed. Good, good, good. <laughs> it is funny that Clara is the one who fell into this trap. 
Yeah, that, that actually is really depraved. <laughs> well, well, exactly hey, maybe we'll be back for next time. <laughs> yeah, stop. All right, so... All right, I'm gonna do the annoying thing where I dump the dice loudly on the table. Shut up. You know, that Everybody shut up. You know I can't do that. It goes against every fiber of my being to not make fun of someone. Okay. And hey, plus that, I haven't fallen out of a chair in like a year. Wait, that's like the thing you do? I like that too. See, I'm the kind of oh, friend yeah. you weren't with us when she fell out of her chair no. with peals of laughter during the Eclipse Fest game. Although, <laughs> and see, the librarian had to come over and ask us to keep it down like twice. <laughs> But that's what determines the kind of friend you are, though, because, like, I'm the kind of friend who will laugh at your in your face for, like, a two minutes and then ask if you're okay. <laughs> Not the other way around. That's true. Which is what you're supposed to do. Too.